High in the Himalayas, a legend lived, a place whispered about but rarely seen. Gangunj, they called it, the sanctuary of the yogis, a place of ancient wisdom, a beacon of enlightenment. For centuries, seekers and scholars have searched, drawn by the promise of Gyangunj, a place where knowledge flowed like rivers, where emotions were mastered, where the spirit soared. Gyangunj was more than a location. It was a state of being, a convergence of knowledge, emotion and spirit. To find Gyangunj was to find oneself, to unlock the secrets within. Evelyn and Altheon are intrepid explorers sought this sanctuary, guided by ancient maps, led by cryptic clues left by the yogis. Their journey was fraught with peril, yet they persisted, driven by an insatiable thirst for truth. They ventured deep into the Himalayas, where the air was thin and the paths treacherous. They climbed icy peaks and navigated treacherous ravines, each step a test of their resolve, their faith. Their map spoke of a hidden valley, shrouded in mist and guarded by illusions. Only those pure of heart could find it. Only those who had conquered their inner demons. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months. Evelyn and Altheon faced their fears. They battled exhaustion. They clung to hope. The legend of Giangunj fueled their spirit. They encountered monks who spoke in riddles, hermits who lived in solitude, each encounter offered a piece of the puzzle, a clue to the location of the hidden valley, a step closer to Gyangunj. Evelyn, a scholar of ancient languages, deciphered cryptic texts. Altheon, a skilled navigator, charted their course through the treacherous terrain. Their skills, honed by years of study and practice, were put to the ultimate test. Section 4, Trials and Transformations. The journey was transforming them. I never imagined I had this much courage within me. Evelyn, once timid and bookish, discovered a wellspring of courage. And I, who always relied on logic, am now learning to trust my intuition. Altheon, used to relying on logic, learned to trust his intuition. They were shedding their old selves, embracing the unknown. These illusions, they challenge everything I thought I knew. They faced illusions that challenged their perceptions, tempests that threatened to break their spirit, yet they persevered. Every challenge we face brings us closer together, makes us stronger. Their bond strengthening with each challenge, their resolve solidifying, they began to understand. Gyangunj was not just a destination, it was a journey. It's like we're peeling away layers of who we thought we were. A process of self-discovery, of shedding layers of ego and illusion, of finding the divine within. Section 5, the true Gyangunj. Finally, they stumbled upon it, the hidden valley. This light. It feels like we're coming home. Bathed in an ethereal golden light, a sense of peace pervaded the air, a feeling of coming home, Evelyn realized. Gyangunj isn't a place, it's a state of being. Gyangunj was not a physical place, it was a state of being, a state of perfect balance, where knowledge, emotion and spirit were one. It was within us all along. They had found the true sanctuary, not in a hidden valley, but within themselves. The journey had led them home, to the Gyangunj within. Section 6, A Timeless Sanctuary. The legend of Gyangunj is a timeless reminder that the true sanctuary lies within. It is a call to embark on our own inner journeys, to seek the wisdom that resides within. Gyangunj beckons, not as a destination, but as a path. A path of self-discovery, of spiritual awakening, a path that leads us home to the divine within each of us. Go forth, seek your own Gyangunj. Discover the timeless sanctuary that awaits within your heart.